Hello, um, so I'm here in Lion's Cradle again because uh, I've realised that quite a few people, I mean, not everybody, I think a lot of us are really happy with this place, but there are some people that are not happy with it. Um, so I thought I'd just make this uh, quick video. I started decorating this in like a really pretty way. I was trying to go for a sort of honeymoony kind of vibe here. Um, maybe even a wedding vibe, actually, thinking about it. Um, trying to use all of the new Love Day furnishings. But I'm not sure if I'm actually going to continue with this. I'm debating it because I've got another idea for this, um, which is a Halloween house. But at the same time, I kind of wanted to wait for EU transfer to try that. So I might finish this. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm just really itching to build a Halloween house here now. So it depends on how patient I am waiting for EU transfer, really, for that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, basically, I just wanted to show you what I've done, just so you can see that it can actually be made to be, look quite pretty. So this is the outside area. Um, we'll go over here first just to show you what I've done so far. It's not much. I've used barely any items. Um, so I've covered up the fence with hedges and put some flowers on there, which you would think it detracts from the view. But actually, I've built these stairs up here and we've got this like big platform here, which is where I was actually going to have like a... Um, kind of a wedding arch here and some chairs so it was kind of like a place where people could get married as you can see the view is just amazing it's like sunset at the moment and it's just absolutely beautiful at this time of day um i didn't finish down here as you can see um i built downwards again i was thinking of having like a really nice pretty garden down here which would involve covering up obviously some of this wood or maybe having um, plant pots on either side. So this was going to be like a nice sort of romantic garden where people can go for a nice walk on their honeymoon and look at the beautiful view, which is actually astonishing at this time of day. Um, so as you can see, like we've got, if you just decide to decorate this, you've got 700 items, so you can build out as much as you like, really. Um, I've covered this area with some vines. I've actually covered up um, one side here because I was going to make this like a little storage area under here. Again, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> this is very rough. Like I've literally just been doing this for less than an hour. Um, I also decided to build like another raised area here because the view is so spectacular. I thought like try and take advantage of it as much as possible um so this is just like a nice seating area outside the house have a look at the beautiful view again um again i've used hedges to cover up this i personally don't mind the fences but i'm trying to bear in mind here people that do so good idea to cover them with hedges hedges are very cheap easy to get and they do make it look really pretty um, I've decorated the outside of the house as well, as you can see. Not quite finished that yet, but um, it's definitely looking prettier. Um, inside, I haven't done anything, but I have done a few little bits just to show you what can be done. If you hate the walls in here, the walls originally are like this. And it is very dark in here, so I stuck some lights in. Um, so you can cover the walls with pretty much anything. I've also covered up the pillars on a couple of these walls. As you can see, the pillars originally look like this. Um, these elsewhere pillars you can get from Northern Elsewhere from the merchant for just 100 gold each. And if you prefer the more clean look, it's quite easy just to cover up those pillars with these. Um, you could also cover it with anything. Like here, I've covered it with stone to make it sort of a more stony building. You could even use rugs. Here I've used a more colourful rug to make it look like there's a nice bright colourful wallpaper. And then I've used a sort of duller, more kind of neutral rug there. You could also use brick if you want brickwork. And here, if you want a really kind of clean, modern wood feel, these are the elsewhere tables. Um, so yeah, and the windows are very small and a lot of people didn't like the windows. You can cover the windows. Um, like I did in my bakery quite a long time ago, if anybody's seen that. Um, I've used the Argonian bed rolls here as blinds. You can have them sort of halfway up or all the way down, um, depending what your preference is. 
and they fit perfectly in these windows and they kind of cover it up a bit make it look like they're closed which kind of explains why there's no light coming through you could also use uh of course the shutters um curtains kind of are a bit awkward you have to use two and sort of sync them into each other to fit here and you could also again use rugs to make a more colorful curtain so I just wanted to let you know like if you don't like the walls in here the item limit for this place is so big compared to its size that you can easily cover these walls up with anything you want to you don't have to keep it looking like a broken down mess um, when I see a house like that or a house that looks kind of like ruins to me I just feel like maybe my character was just out wandering came up to this beautiful hill with this beautiful view and found this old house up here and was like right I'm gonna fix this house up and make it beautiful um, because I just want to live here with this amazing view <laughs> so yeah you could have a little backstory to that as to why it's such a mess and it doesn't have to remain a mess um, it doesn't take a lot of items it's quite inexpensive just to cover up these walls so yeah, um, I hope, hopefully this has put some people's mind at ease a little bit. I might finish my wedding theme or I might just completely go full blown with my Halloween theme later if I feel the need to do that. So yeah, this view is just beautiful. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you still hate this house and you still hate it, I mean, to be honest, like everyone has their own opinions. I've got houses that I hate in this game um, that other people love. So we've all got our own opinions on that. But um, yeah, I personally love it. And I think that the potential here is just insane. And I think that there are so many possibilities of what you could achieve here. I mean, you could even block off this house um, and just build out here if you would wanted to do that like there's just so many possibilities and how far you can build out too so yeah again thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you again soon when i've finally completed this house um i may wait until eu transfer which was what i'm doing for the big house um just because i like my achievement items and my furniture packs and lux items and all that stuff which i don't have on na um but yeah see how it goes <laughs> thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you again soon goodbye